morning everyone last week i said that one of my new year's resolutions was to just have fun and what's more fun than a new star wars movie huh well i have this illustration here i found it on dribble by an artist named justice galiberta there'll be a link to his art in the video description i'm going to recreate this illustration and animate it using html and css so on the top left here i have two documents set up i'm using jade and sass to compile the html and css and I'll have a link in the video description to a code pen so you guys can see exactly how this all works together and try to make it better if you want. I'm sure mine's not perfect. And over here on the right we have an artboard. This will render out our progress over HTML and CSS as we save. So this video is going to be heavily sped up, so hold on to your butts. I start by blocking out the HTML. I create a container with a class of BB8. This will be the anchor that every part of the illustration hangs on. Inside that, I block out the body, the head, and even things that hang outside of our little droid. You know, like the sparkles and the ground and things like that. Next, I'm using the color picker and the Chrome DevTools to select the colors from the original illustration and then store them up there in SAS variables at the top of the document. Now you see that pink box there? That's the BB-8 class. The circle inside it is the BB-8-body class element. Notice that the body is taking up 100% of the space of the parent, but later on elements like the head and the sparkles will hang outside of the parent, the BB-8 class element. I use the BB-8-body to overflow hide the elements inside of it. These large orange circles and other things uh, to mask them to get a nice round shape with the details in it. I'm not too worried about accuracy here, I'm just eyeballing the shapes inside. I want to capture the emotion, uh, not necessarily the specs of the illustration. create this pink overlay here just so I can see what I'm working with but I need an invisible element to cast a box shadow that I can use to add to that you know shadow tint there under the droid. Now I do the same for the head here the pink box will be just an invisible container. Now there's two parts of the head the dome at the top here and the kind of trapezoid below it. The bottom part is the most difficult part of the whole illustration actually. It's made up of three parts and each part will have a blue box and a dark blue bottom border. As you can see, I'm having a bit of a time, you know, making them all fit nicely, but we get there. After I finally get those bottom pieces together, I go back and craft the lens. The sheen of the lens is created by using the pseudo elements before and after, and they are turned into lighter blue boxes, rotated and overflow hidden inside of the lens. They create that little shine on the lens. I think that this little freckle here is what makes BB-8 so adorable. It's that asymmetrical, anthropomorphized little, you know, blemish that really makes him have a personality. Now that invisible box that was pink at one point is now rotated and positioned. All of the head parts are attached to it so they kind of move as one unit. Think of them as, you know, like a group. The next group is the speed lines. They're all styled the same and then individual classes of one, two, three, and so on are used to position and determine the lengths. An additional class called tail creates that line that has that little gap in it. Next is the sparkles. They're very similar to the speed lines. There is one general style and then additional classes are created to modify the size and color. And then each sparkle gets its own position. Okay. 
The tedious part here is placing 16 sparkles using XY coordinates. I make the task a little easier by using the nudge and the dev tools and then copying back those values, but ugh. Uh, this took forever. Keep in mind that this video is sped up like 20x. Okay, same thing with the ground. One style and then they get overrides for position and width. Little bumps here are created by cropping a circle with a border and placing it inside each ground piece. CSS animation is really fun. I make keyframes that say uh, it starts at 360 degrees rotated and ends at one and then it just repeats infinitely. That's how I get that spin. Yeah, looks fun. But there's one problem, our shadow is spinning. Shadows don't spin unless like, you know, the sun is spinning. I don't know how many suns there are or how fast they spin on Daku, but you know, we should really fix this. So I comment out the animation and then move that invisible shadowing element outside of the body, but now it's not cropped, so I need to go and redo that. Hmm, looks like a little visual glitch here. The shadow is only kind of getting cropped. Hmm. I'm not concerned though. Maybe it looks like a little, you know, BB-8 is kicking up a little dust or something as he rolls around, I don't, I don't know. I make a new keyframe called Pulse. I want these sparkles to shine. Hmm, that's not very twinkly. They're more like a bouncing their heads to the beat or something. There we go. Make that transition a bit less jarring by peaking out the animation at 90%. I read a few modifier classes, basically changing the delay so that they pulse at different times, and there we go. I feel like BB-8 is moving along, but the ground is stationary, so let's animate those bumps here. And done, okay. BB-8 is definitely the most adorable droid in the galaxy, but okay, so we're done with our CSS illustration here of BB-8. Remember, you can use the link in the description of the video to check out the code for yourself. It's on CodePen there for you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Travis Nielsen. Every week I post web design and coding tutorials to this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This video and others like it are made possible by the patrons of the channel. Come find out more about the patron community. Come chat with us, see videos early, and do all that over at patreon.com slash devtips. Alright, we'll see you next week, and until then, keep looking for those droids, because these are not the droids that you're looking for.